this is the new Nespresso Virtuo coffee machine made by Krups. Before I get into all this style of coffee machine, I'm gonna get something right off the bat. In the Virtuo range, this is the one you should buy. Let me explain. So it does got the same aspects as all the other Nespresso Virtuo range. It's got the Krups logo at the front. It's got the Nespresso logo at the front as well. This is the dish that your coffee goes in. So it takes a large mug and the small espresso, lungo, all of that mugs it needs. This works quite easily. This you have to slide in. So all you need to do is slide it in and it will stay on. So smaller mugs here, larger mugs on the bottom. This is where it will go if it overspills. So you have to lift up, slide out. Simple, works really well. I have to say, this comes out if you do need to empty it. It's like a draining function. All the water, cup, coffee, overspilling will go here. Nespresso coffee will come out there. On the left side or the right side, depending which way you're looking at it, here, is the water, you just lift this up or take this out under your tap, it's a good size. These 1.6 litres, the height is 22.8 centimetres, so nice design. On the left, over here, that's, you lift it up and take it out to empty it. See this massive hole here, it's got the Nespresso ridged finish. This is where all the pods will slide from. So it will through, go through the machine, come out here into your dish. So nice, simple. That just goes on nicely. Works really, really well. Well, this one, it doesn't need to be plugged in to open. So the width of this is 31 centimeters. The depth is 31.3 centimeters. I'll leave you all the details flying on the screen and in the description. And the thing about this range here, let's talk about that, is that you don't have to have it plugged in and because it doesn't have that automated function. So when we go to the top, you can see here, it locks and unlocks by twisting this. So you have it here, just twist it to the left to lock it to the middle is straight up and you twist it to the right to lift up again this will take the virtuo pods the larger pods so you can do 412 liters milliliters of coffee so it's a large nearly a pint of coffee all the pods go in there it's 7000 rpm as they explained and when it does make the coffee on top here, this is where the coffee pod slides in, goes through here, pops into the dish, goes in here. 1.6 liters dish. This one, the great thing about it is you don't need to have it plugged in, so you don't have to worry about limited coffee. Coffee is how much you like. So you can put it back on, lock it, that will make your coffee depending which one you go for, it will make that coffee. Again, same functions to set it to a different time. You hold the button down on top. So let's show you the button. This is the button itself. You hold it down, it will know which coffee it is, and that will make you the coffee. Simple, works really well. The main reason I recommend this is you can make as much as coffee as you like, because the motor won't overheat and wear out quicker with the other machines it will so you have to let it cool down this you don't need to do anything don't need to let it cool down it's a nice picture to it and it's it will take a good amount of space it's quite heavy that's the side of it it's not too lightweight it's got these sides here this is basically you can not really you can put your small plates on it but I don't see any reason to put any plates on it simple it gives you this dish to make it large or small coffee whichever you want to do simple function works quite well 
and have to say it's it's an okay machine. The Virtual Ranger I'm not very impressed by, but this is definitely the one to go for out of them because you don't have to be compromised of how much coffee you make, how much coffee you don't. Easy to clean, easy to store, large coffees, coffee lovers out there, this is definitely the one to go for. Hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions, leave it at the bottom. Please share and subscribe. Thank you, man, bye-bye.